Hey guys, uh, it's Alyssa. Juanita. And we're here and we're watching season seven, episode three of The Walking Dead, The Cell. The Cell. Last week was The Well, this week it's The Cell. Was it really called The Well? Yeah. Take from The Well, replenish The Well. Oh, <laughs> makes sense. And I'm assuming this is a cell because Daryl's going to be in a damn cell. Oh, this is going to be sad. <laughs> this one. is going to be the Daryl Angst episode of the season. This is the one where I'm not going to be too happy. I don't think anyone's going to be too happy. <laughs> Daryl is a fan favorite. Well, yeah. Even though people are a little mad about the Glenn thing. Yeah. But if Daryl would have died, they would have went People would have went... Ratings would have went down like, I'm not watching anymore. Storms off. <laughs> it's true. It's true. There's literally, They literally sell a t-shirt at Hot Topic that says, if Daryl dies, we riot. That's a, it's a lit thing. That exists. I'm telling you. You need to go see this shirt. <laughs> I'll show you a picture. I'm going to insert that picture here. Last week we met King Ezekiel. Yay! Tons of fun. <laughs> now we get to see Negan and how he operates his community. Like a jerk, I'm sure. <laughs> like a dictator. A dictatorship. <laughs> Remember that? Yes. So, the same of democracy. But I really want to see like the dynamics because they're yeah. all about getting their goods from other people. Yes. So what's <laughs> like, it like in their community what then? What do they do? Yeah, if they're not sustaining themselves. If they're not getting their own meat. Their own crops. Unless they do, but what they have isn't enough, so then they take from other people. But, so I'm sure we'll see all of that this episode. We'll get our questions answered. Mm -hmm. Maybe you may know the answer, so you can just put in the comment. <laughs> Spoil it. I don't care. What? Okay, let's get to it. So this is what they do all day? Well, they're baking. That's something. He has it well. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> it's throwing me off with the music. What the hell is this place? Is that mustard? I'm gonna hope it is. They're curtain stuff. <laughs> In the hell is this place? I just fuck? like the one walking around with like the bucket on its head. <laughs> that makes me giggle. Is that no. Hell no, it looks like asshole. I was gonna say it looks like cat food. I was partly right. I'd have given that to Daryl. Hmm, probably. Some some of bitches. Oh man. This is my head already hurts and all this. <laughs> this is not good. Freaking complete dark. That's like sensory deprivation. That is how you break people. You know like when I'm like, um, ooh. I'm like, what's ooh. in prison ring? What is it called? Solitary yeah. confinement. Yeah. It's, it's worse. It's horrible. Like is it worse? I don't know. Solitary confinement? Is it worse than what? Well he's good. He's well he's naked. And dirty. Yeah. Well, you can end up that bad well, in solitary confinement. They, like, leave you in there, right? Yeah. It's, and it really can, like, mess with your mind, like, not having any contact with people, being in, like, silence. Uh, he's got, I'd say it's worse because he's in, like, complete darkness, too. So, like, you can't see anything. Do they, like, let him out to use the bathroom? Um, they might just throw a bucket in there. I don't know. That is just, just wrong. I mean, we knew he was Human gonna... beings should not be treated that way. I knew we were, he was going to go through yeah. hell, but I'm like, I don't want to see the hell. I want to see just him get yeah. rescued. They really do this in Guantanamo Bay. It's like, this is the way they torture prisoners. Is they'll play like pop songs and they'll like shake the walls and try and break you and get you to talk. A. What is he? <laughs> is he sending text messages to teenage girls about their lives? I'm sure it means something, because you remember we saw guys with shirts that said like F on them in the beginning? Oh, a red room of pain? Okay, it's the door's just red. Oh, God. 
Are you going to get his backstory? Maybe in a couple episodes. Are they going to make me want to like him? Probably. Or they're going to try and make you like him like that episode with the governor. And I was like, I'm not having this. <laughs> oh, this fucking song. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. It's like a test. I don't want to... I wouldn't try it. God. I just... I know it's going to end bad. You won't know unless you try. Yeah. In this is Daryl. It's true. He's not just going to comply. Curiosity killed the cat. I mean, he has no but shoes, though. Brought it back. It's really hard to, like, go very far without shoes, though. It's extremely hard to get anywhere. How'd you think the pioneers did it? <laughs> we survived these days. They made some long. kind of shoes, though. fuck off the bridge or did he stumble? It was a woman that was pushed off a... So someone's pushing him off top. Unless they're walking off. It's either or. I mean, you might as well listen to her. You think I know this? Exactly. Your option is escape with no weapon, no shoes, and like that ugly ass sweatsuit or go back to your cell and wait it out. They're both shit options, but mm. oh. this isn't gonna go well at all. <laughs> God, you know when you're like young and kids, you're like, stop, go, <laughs> like in a, uh. Uh, it's like in a horror movie where they, you're like, don't go upstairs. You're usually like escape from the house. This time you're like, go back to the fucking house. Unless you go down to someplace else. Uh -oh. True. Get to Canada. That's usually a good place. I'm not gonna walk this whole way. I said keep walking. It's okay. Wait. Doug swoops in with a baseball hat and a smile. And we're all so scared that we gave up everything. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's a baseball bat. I like this guy. He's probably gonna die though. So I'm not gonna get attached. Gonna shoot him? Yep, but he's not even gonna let him die the way he wanted to go. Well, he wanted him to shoot him. Yeah. Because he said there was one thing left, and he's like, you know there's nothing left, so he's like, there's nothing left, so I'm gonna shoot him. Hey, Sherry. Can I have one? No. <laughs> Imagine if you smoked before the apocalypse, but after the apocalypse, you could no longer find the ones you liked. Mm. Like Newport. Glad we don't smoke. I was just saying. Because <laughs> you know how certain people yes. have a specific taste. Yeah. But then you can't find your taste anymore. You're probably like, I'm quitting. Quit it would turkey. probably be much easier to find alcohol in the apocalypse. Than cigarettes? Hell yeah. Yeah. I did the right thing. Mm. Debatable. Yeah. <laughs> Debatable. To let him go. That is also possibly true. Yeah. Well, but is it when you're dead, you're at peace. True. I mean, I wouldn't want to go through any of this. I'd rather just be dead. I am more of certain of what the afterlife holds, so I'm a little more conflicted. <laughs> Every time! Imagine this I comes on one day when we're at a bar. I'm like, Alyssa, it's our song! <laughs> I doubt this will come on at a bar. And Negan's taking a shot at you. Well, that's good. I don't know if that's good. I mean, it's good because it probably means he won't kill him. Yeah, at least until at this he point. can get rescued. Hopefully. Oh, no. Is that a picture of, of who? What? Nige, not Nige, Glenn or Abraham. Smashed up head. They were taking pictures at the end. Really? Yes, because they're a bunch of dickwads. Is he going to say Nige? God, he's so full of himself. God. 
God, it's so awesome. <laughs> Explore a great villain. Yeah. I mean, you love to hate him. And he's probably one of the true formidable foes we've seen so far. You know what I mean? I knew he didn't shoot him in the head and kill him. Shot him in the back. Knew it. Now do you feel emotions? Still don't feel bad for him though. But I can see his point of view more. So. What'd you think of the episode? This was a toughie. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd say it's definitely in between the first episode and the second episode. Like, it was, um, not Mars as happy. There, yeah. But not there as. There wasn't as much tension and as much, like, nail biting, um, as there was in the first episode but of the season. Not, it wasn't as calm as the second episode. Yeah. Last week was just so nice. Um, this week was definitely, there was a lot of choices to be made. And Daryl's gonna stick by what he believes is right. He doesn't care. I mean, if I was him, I would care. <laughs> well, I mean, we're two different type of personalities. Yeah. Like, me and you are like, oh no, why'd you make that decision? But he's gonna, that, it's his yeah. decision. To his Plus, mind. It's, we know that yeah. Daryl's not just going to be like, Yup, Negan, I'm your right-hand man now. No. Like, Daryl will fight till the absolute last moment. Till he absolutely can't anymore. Mm -hmm. So now we know more about um, what's going on with Dwight. What happened after they took his stuff and ran off. They went and begged for forgiveness. And he was like, why should I give you forgiveness? Because his super hot wife will marry me now. And then he branded his face with an iron, apparently. So, uh, that's great. Yeah, so Dwight's just having a little conflict within himself. He's probably been having this this whole time we've known him. We're just like, ugh. Yeah, uh, he's probably, alone. since he got back, he's probably been pushing it down and focusing on, like, moving himself up the chain to get the best life he can out of this mm -hmm. but he lost his wife and his um sister-in-law in the process so i mean i mean he doesn't really have anything else to live for like, well i mean he can still be yeah, having feelings for, for her, her but yeah they're not he, ha yeah. he can't focus on her really though and the man i don't remember his name if we even knew his name but uh, he made some good points. Cause yes. I was like, yeah. About the sanctuary and the savior. Because he's like, vegan. this man comes with a bat and a smile. That's what I'm trying to figure out. They let this man with a bat come and rule all these people with... If I had a gun and you had a bat, best believe Alyssa, you're going to die. <laughs> Who said I'm coming? <laughs> I'm just saying. If you're like... You had a bat and I had a I know gun. What you mean, he's like, I'm going to take over and I'm going to stay on the truth. I'm like, motherfucker, who are part, you? Part of Negan's like scariness though is that he has a legion of followers that are like at his beck and call with guns. My thing is why guns. though? Why do they follow? I want to know why. He apparently built this organization up enough to the point where he has trust. Well, his higher ranking officers I'm assuming, people like Dwight and stuff or like even higher than Dwight probably get like special privileges at this place like we saw with Dwight making his like fancy ass sandwich in the beginning they probably get a better life like a pretty good life for what you can make out of the apocalypse so that's their kind of motivation to be here is like they probably get girls they get nice living quarters they get like whatever kind of food they want as much as is actually available so there are benefits to being in Negan's inner circle. And there probably is a reason why, but we haven't read the graphic novel, so we don't know yeah. why. And the, the graphic novel probably I mean, explains it better, and there's like mm -hmm. a whole story. We just don't know. Negan also kind of has a charisma to him. Um, like, 
he he's an intimidating guy just looking at him he's 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 built he's got some structure i guess that's also how you can be yeah. like, how do people follow trump yeah there are a lot of people that just can command with like their words and like um how they act you know what i mean mm. and a lot of people are willing to follow because of what their stance is on things um and things like that i don't know it just baffles me yeah Negan's an interesting villain, though. I want to see much, much more of him to understand yes. more. Like Criminal Minds. Let's, under, let's understand the serial in. killer. <laughs> yeah. Profiling 101. I think he's probably the most, like, complicated. Um, I want to know. Male. He's the best not male villain. One of the most complicated villains we've seen on the show so far. Like. I want to see where he began. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll get an episode like that. Like, they gave us an entire friggin' episode of The Governor and that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Negan's way more intimidating than The Governor, though. Yeah, he is. Okay. Um, Sherry. <sighs> she's very pretty. Yeah. Gotta give it to her. I think very she's just pretty. kind of doing the best she can to survive in this world. Well, she's the one that came up with the idea of her, ma- her marrying Negan to keep Dwight alive. And so, probably herself as best she could. She's true. Gotta think about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, and she was like possibly pregnant. Good golly, yeah. Molly. I'd have been take, drinking all types of teas. <laughs> Falling yeah. down a whole bunch of steps. I mean, this, um, when Dwight and Negan were talking and he was like, oh, D, you can take uh, anyone you want as long as they say yes. But here's the thing is that these guys are in positions of power over them. And if they said no, can, like, can, can, they, they, say can no? they really say no in this situation? If Negan comes up to you and is like, I want to marry you, I want to have sex with you, and you're like at this place, are you really in a position to say no without having your life I either get worse or like, like get exponentially worse than it already is? Like, are they really in a position to be like, I refuse, I'm not doing it. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean... So that's an interesting thing to think about, because Sherry is probably having sex with him, and he could be like, uh, do you want to do this? And what is she going to say? No? Not today, honey. I don't think it's going to work like that. Well, I mean, she's trying to survive. Yeah. And she's no, trying no, to no, help. no, no, no. I'm not, like, being like, how yeah, dare you yeah. do this? I am saying, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying she's trying to survive, and she's she was trying to help yeah. Daryl, but he was like, no, I ain't listening to you. Daryl is stubborn, and he's going to do what he thinks he's is best. But I mean, the last time he trusted her, they turned on him. Why would, why would I trust you now? Exactly. Even though it would have been a better idea to not try and escape... To just say he was Negan. But that's but we your, know, I know, I know, I know. You no, I'm it. saying it would have made it easier on Daryl. But he's not that type of person. That's what I'm saying. But you would have taken that and made your life easier. He's not going to oh, do yeah. that. So I'm saying you like it would have been better. But that's from your point of view. Okay, yeah. From his point of view, probably wouldn't have been better. It just would have been just as bad with just a few more perks. Yeah. I mean, his buddy Glenn's been axed with a bat because of him. Abraham's dead. He, like, all, his entire family that he's made through this horrible apocalypse journey is back in Alexandria. We saw a little bit about how the sanctuary functions more inside. You know, with the people making bread. Yeah. It kind of reminded me of um, the Hunger Games where they would have, I forget what it's called, but they would have a place in District 12 where they would trade and stuff. Mm-hmm. It reminded me of that a little bit. But they also had like places where they had like crops. Yeah. Like, man had mustard. And um, all that stuff. They had like, they had a garden. I guess because they have so many people, they need more. So that's why they go yeah. and take. It also makes it easier on them because they don't have to spend time growing the stuff, going out to catch the food. They can sit around and watch 80s comedies. Which choices... Once again. I mean, it makes life easier for them. I mean, that's a nice, luxurious life. If you're mean to someone, it makes your life easier. Yeah. That's sad, though. I, I, would, I wouldn't mind that. 
<laughs> I mean, like, you know, working day in and day out. It it's a rough tired. life. It gets it's a hard life. But the apocalypse is hard. We're going to catch up with Rick and Co. <laughs> Michelle We're gonna, looks cool. She was yeah, like, she, let, let somebody okay. eat. I'm ready. Michelle Either looked them. pissed. She had a gun. She was ready. <laughs> Negan's going to come knocking on the door. Let little pig, me little pig, in. let me in. I did that pretty good. Let me <laughs> in. So, I just, uh, it's also kind of hard for me to see him as a villain because of watching Grey's Anatomy. I know. So I'm just like, I'm like, he was so sweet yes. as Denny on Grey's Anatomy. Like, season two is probably, I've watched season two of Grey's Anatomy probably like three times. Um, so, to see him be this, like, giant dick in comparison. It's different. Yeah, it's different. It's good. It shows uh, Jeopardy Morgan's like versatility. And he was also um, on Supernatural and Batman's father. In yeah, <laughs> he's in a lot. Of so them. many different characters. Yeah, I love Jeopardy Morgan. Not, like, okay, sorry, I like skipped over what you were saying about the promo next week. Eh, who cares? <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I saw a tweet though where someone was like, somebody cut Denny's L bad wire. <laughs> so that was funny. Yeah, but yeah, next week, Rick is going to try and have to explain to all those people that don't get it. All the people that look up to him now because Deanna's dead and he's the one that's leading Alexandria. Which is a lot of people, but he's like, I'm not in charge anymore. He's like, we got fucked up. I almost had to chop my own son's arm off. We lost Glenn and Abraham. What do you mean? Like, do do? exactly. Uh, I just, uh, this whole season so far, it's just like. It's gut wrenching. Lord, why? I can't believe they were like, here's the Polaroid of your dead friend. Mm. What? Mean. That's mean. They took a That's picture. cruel. Like, Here you go. The fact that they take pictures of like people who get their head smashed in. Ugh. So we feel bad for Daryl and his situation. Very bad. Ready to move on though for a little while. <laughs> well, well, I know we're, we're going to come back to this eventually. So I'm like, let's get the little break of not being sad. Next week I feel like it's going to be more tension filled again because yeah, it's like a I feel I think like he's going over there. Yeah, it seems like they're going to want to kill Negan, but you cannot. they can't. You it's going to be your really, time. It's going to be a really bad situation if they do that yeah, they need to buy their time you know grow more yeah get in contact with the, other yeah like the kingdom and uh was that the one hilltop yeah the hilltop was another one yeah where jesus is and they need to just rally the troops find, yeah find even another one i know it's probably going to take all season or which i'm fine two. with which It'll be different because usually they do like half season arcs or once in a while they'll do full season arcs. The governor was a fool. Season yeah. Because he just wouldn't Ugh. die. He wouldn't go He away. wouldn't die. He literally got saved by people, showed up again with a tank. It was like, are you serious? Can you go away already? Michael like Walker, they just won't die. That one going up the pole, down the pole, <laughs> up the pole. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, he had a very limited range of motion. Also, sorry, we're about to end the video, but why do they keep them in this little courtyard? To torture people? That's my only guess. And they have like ex people that used to be a part of their community. That's why they like end up on the fence. Yeah. yeah. Well, there were also other people with sweatsuit outfits like Daryl, but with different letters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have no idea what the letters mean. What do they do? <laughs> are they feeding them? Yeah. Or like, are they, or are they just like rallying them up in there and like they're kind of scaring the people by putting them in the pit with them trying to create fear and have them be more loyal i don't know it, it, it's confusing someone explain i know somebody probably will but just explain overall though like the episode never want to hear that goddamn easy street song again i kept thinking of easy street for manny me too easy <laughs> street. but i don't want to hear that song again um, I wouldn't. I don't mind it. It was just bothering me because they just kept playing it over and over, and I was like, I know the meaning behind this, and it's just like, it's more the like meaning of what they're doing than yeah. like, the actual song. 
So thank you guys for watching. Let us know what you thought. And uh, we'll see, see you next week. week. Peace. Hey guys, uh, it's Alyssa. Juanita. And we're here and we're watching season seven, episode three of The Walking Dead, The Cell. The Cell. Last week was The Well, this week it's The Cell. Was it really called The Well? Yeah. Take from the well, replenish the well. Oh, <laughs> makes sense. And I'm assuming this is a cell because Daryl's going to be in a damn cell. Oh, this is going to be sad. <laughs> this one. is going to be the Daryl angst episode of the season. This is the one where I'm not going to be too happy. I don't think anyone's going to be too happy. <laughs> Daryl is a fan favorite. Well, yeah. Even though people are a little mad about the Glenn thing. Yeah. But if Daryl would have died, they would have went People would have went... Ratings would have went down. Like, I'm not watching anymore. Storms off. <laughs> it's true. It's true. There's literally, They literally sell a t-shirt at Hot Topic that says, If Daryl dies, we riot. That's a, it's a lit thing. That exists. I'm telling you. I need to go see this shirt. <laughs> I'll show you a picture. I'm going to insert that picture here. Last week we met King Ezekiel. Yay! Tons of fun. <laughs> now we get to see Negan and how he operates his community. Like a jerk, I'm sure. <laughs> like a dictator. A dictatorship. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. So, the state of democracy. But I really want to see like the dynamics because they're yeah. all about getting their goods from other people yes so what's it like in their community what then? do they do yeah if they're not sustaining themselves if they're not getting their own meat their own crops unless they do but what they have isn't enough so then they take from other people but, so i'm sure we'll see all of that this episode we'll get our questions answered mm -hmm. maybe you may know the answer so you can just put in the comment <laughs> spoil it i don't care what Okay, let's get to it. So this is what they do all day? Well, they're baking. That's something. He has it well. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> it's throwing me off with the music. What the hell is this place? Is that mustard? I'm gonna hope it is. They're curved stuff in here. What in the hell is this place? What the I just fuck? like the one walking around with like the bucket on its head. <laughs> that makes me giggle. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hell no. It looks like. Ow! I was gonna say it looks like cat food. I was partly right. I think, I think I'm gonna have to do it. Hmm, probably. Some some of bitches. Oh man. This is. My head already hurts when I'll this. <laughs> this is not good. Freaking. Complete dark. That's like sensory deprivation. That is how you break people. You know, like when I'm like, um, ooh. Oh, like, what's ooh. it in prison? When, what is it called? Solitary yeah. confinement. Yeah. It's, it's worse. It's horrible. Like, is it worse? I don't know. Solitary confinement? Is it worse than what? Well, he's good. He, well, he's naked and dirty. Yeah. Well, you can end up that bad well, in solitary confinement. They like leave you in there, right? Yeah. It's. And it really can like mess with your mind, like not having any contact with people, being in like silence. Uh, he's got, I'd say it's worse because he's in like complete darkness too. So like you can't see anything. Do they like let him out to use the bathroom? Um, they might just throw a bucket in there, I don't know. That is just, just wrong. I mean, we knew he was Human beings should not be treated that way. I knew we were, he was going to go through yeah. hell. But I'm like, I don't want to see the hell. I wanted to see just him get yeah. rescued. They really do this in Guantanamo Bay. It's like, this is the way they torture prisoners. Is they'll play like pop songs and they'll like shake the walls and try and break you and get you to talk. A. Hey. What is he? <laughs> is he sending text messages to teenage girls about their lives? 
I'm sure it means something. Because you remember we saw guys with shirts that said like F on them in the beginning? Oh, a red room of pain? Okay, it's the door's just red. Oh, God. What are you doing?